Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do a simple makeup look and this very simple hairstyle on hair that hasn't been freshly washed in under 10 minutes. Let me show you how I take myself from this to this. Let's get into it. Some days you thrive, some days you just survive. I didn't sleep well so it's showing on my face if you're new in here, I'm 24 weeks pregnant and so far I had no problems with my pregnancy until this week when I can't sleep just because of the back pains and like under my ribs pain and just like let's do some makeup so I just get in the zone. This is what I have on my makeup table. These are my basics at the moment. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even feel like doing my makeup but I have a client and then I have an event where I'm gonna meet people and I gotta look somewhat like Parisian chic French wannabe. We're gonna fake a, a Parisian woman. I'm not French, I just live here. The only thing I don't have on my tray is my primer. Love this primer, Shiseido Synchro Skin Glow. Any foundation has a much better grip after this. All skin types would love this. Next is foundation and I've been loving this Lancome, uh, Tint Idole Ultra Wear. Two pumps. Freshly clean beauty blender, starting with the center of the face. For me, the beauty blender is just the fastest way to apply foundation. Can you please get me closer? And then I do this really sexy face to figure out if there is any line in here. Then I do this. Mandatory. Foundation is not supposed to make your skin look perfect. It's just supposed to even out your skin. This is my belief. That's enough. Concealer, NARS, because it's a bit lighter. I have this color Custer, which I find it perfect for when I really want to brighten the under eyes. And also like some other areas around my face. Again, Beauty Blender to the rescue. You saw how I have strategically placed that concealer in there because that's where I'm the darkest. Boom. Done. Cream bronzer because it looks so much more natural on me than powder bronzer, especially now that my skin is so dry. So I'll be using this Glossier. This is really cool. It's called Solar Paint and my color is gray. And I guess you could apply it directly on the face with the applicator, which is very handy, but I do like to get it on the back of my hand taking it with this brush and get the bronzer a little bit higher on the cheeks not to contour but more to warm up the skin and this is not completely matte so this has a sheen when you use this you don't have to apply any like I don't know if you can see you don't have to apply any highlighter so cheeks forehead and brow bone. Some powder just to set the concealer. And you know when you get super oily right here? Yeah, there. Eyebrows. This is super easy and fast for me to use. And I think for most people, pencils would be the easiest and the fastest from Gucci and I like to first cover this bald spot right right there and I do very light strokes that imitate the hair it doesn't have to look like a block of color but because that's when the eyebrows look super unnatural Okay, and then with the other side, the spoolie, I brush it through so it spreads the product. Just a little bit more even, but still. Filling in a little bit here. I'm starting to lose my eyebrows from the front too.
eyebrow gel 24 hour bra setter because I just I have to have eyebrow gel you gotta stay up like this this can be used on your eyes on your cheeks on your lips multifunctional product this is what you need when you're in a rush and mine is pretty used and I know that I've showed you a million times but I'm gonna keep on showing you this product because it's really awesome this is the color waking up that I'd love to use it literally everywhere and I take a little bit for the eyes like just here giving me a little something you know if I wouldn't have had the glossier thing I would have applied it on my cheeks too but I feel like I don't need to a must-have for me when I'm applying really almost nothing on my eyelids is the eyelash curler I'm using this mascara from Sweet Lashes. I get this at the base of the lashes as if I'm having a very thin eyeliner. Spread the product at the end of my lashes. So it creates this little shape, a little bit on the lower lashes. I never skip lip liner. I just love it. And this one becomes smaller and smaller. It's from Gucci in the color Nude. Just got this Tom Ford lipstick. And bought it the other day from Galerie Lafayette in the color Flesh. Oh, this is it. It's a really nice nude. Gorgeous with this lip liner. As you can see, it's pretty matte, and I do like some sort of hydration, so I have this lip balm, by the way, this by itself, the most beautiful colored lip balm. It's very, very soft, like, like a baby pink, soft, soft, soft baby pink. It's from Huda Beauty. It's called Silk Balm, and I have it on the back of my hand. Okay, and this is it for the makeup. This lipstick, why didn't I buy before? You guys, why? The perfect nude lipstick that actually doesn't make me look like I've been dead for two weeks, you know? Great, now let's take care of the hair. So I don't expect to do much with it, but... The problem with my hair is that it does not get necessarily oily. Actually, it's the other way around. It gets very, very dry. Honestly, all I feel like is putting it in a ponytail and call it a day but I also don't really like the way I look with my hair in a ponytail let's just brush it first I don't like the ends it definitely needs a cut I have this curling iron for many many years it's just a basic curling iron every time I use it people are like what is it just a basic curling iron I have it heated to 160 degrees celsius but here's what I do when I'm in a hurry. I basically curl the ends. I have even timed this whole process. It takes me three minutes on the clock. Just the ends, only because they look so crazy dry. Okay, now the front part, most important. Oh God, that's a little too curly. Oh, better? Okay, let's put this away, turn it off. A little bit of texturizing hairspray from Way.
Okay. In the time that we had, this is like presentable. Okay, one last touch. Bal d'Afrique from Byredo. It's just a great everyday fragrance that I love. This smells so good. And this is it, you guys. Hair and makeup under 10 minutes. Obviously, I was talking, so probably this is going to be a little bit over 10 minutes. Find my earrings, my necklace, and my bracelet in the description down below, along with everything that I was using to create this look. And I hope you enjoyed. Now I'm going to go walk Alfie, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Soon, baby, three months. Three months, that's all you need to wait before you're gonna have, not exactly 15 kilos, but my mom is not going to take a nap with him. Wow the smell of his breath.